Massive update 124.1 and all you need to know. Biggest thing of course are the new tank destroyers from Poland, starting from tier 5 all the way up to tier 10 and C70. Where tier 8, 9 and 10 tanks get brand new mechanic, deep rifled guns and star ray shells, uh, where damage is based on the distance. Alpha damage varies from 300 if you shoot at 500 meters away, all the way up to 800 alpha damage against tanks that are up to 50 meters away away from you and everything in between. The live damage uh, is shown based on the distance in the middle of the screen and of course that has plus minus 25% RNG built into it. Also the tier 10 NC70 with the premium APCR has the fastest shell velocity in the game now. Toes can fly with 2000 meters per second. Vehicle buffs and nerfs for HP for example will get the buff with better reverse speed, more power to weight ratio and better dispersion at 100 meters. Uh, in Ocean and also during Counterverse. Also, Panzer 7 will receive some love with better accuracy, aiming time, penetration, and more engine power. Eskong, however, will be nerfed a bit, uh, losing 100 hit points and also a bit of a DPM, but overall playstyle will be the same. But Minotauro will receive some buffs and the nerfs. Uh, for example, front hatch armor will be nerfed uh, by 70 millimeters. It will lose 100 hit points and dispersion during hull traverse will be worse, but dispersion on the move will be better, power to weight ratio increased and also tank to reverse speed increased. Map rebalance for Mountain Boss, well rip uh, base defending uh, bushes over there, Karelia and mines as well, as well as uh, minor things on El Haluf and Outpost. A new crew update where, for one, all crew members will be 100% from now on, so if you buy a new tank it comes with 100% crew already. Also, Parax cleanup is going to happen, where you can convert all the under 100% crew members and members in Parax, not in vehicles, which didn't have their first skill fully trained to crew books. They also changed how moving the crew members work, uh, together with uh, re-specialization. Tour of Duty rework, which is a big hit for casual clans who mainly aimed at farming clan reserves. You are trading less resources per month per member, which means less reserves overall for the clan, for a new clan campaign and missions which gives you various rewards along the way together with Karo 45T as the main prize at the end. They already reworked some of the daily missions you need to do in a platoon with your clanmates though. Postmortem mode aka Killgam will be added which gives you quite nice details about the last shot you received which destroyed you, kinda neat and cool feature I find. Also observer camera, just like in frontline when you get destroyed you can fly on the battlefield, I mean you can fly towards the enemy last known positions and look for the trees and other stuff getting destroyed right? To give information for your teammates. Maybe. Get ready for the final onslaught season of 2023-2024. Jade Pegasus is coming. Now players are able to start claiming their brand new exclusive reskin of CS63 called Hurricane, which looks kind of badass, I have to say. Also, they rebalanced some role skills for vehicles and they are introducing brand new bond equipment unit, innovative targeting to the game that boosts your accuracy by 9% and you can get it from the Onslaught store for once. More improvements to Steel Hunter game mode, daily missions changed for new players, SU-122V, Siege Mode Soviet TD and Object 168G have been added for testing by Super Test players, so watch out for those tanks on the live server soon. This is update 1.24.1.